Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your June, your mid-June 2018 reading. Okay, so I'm trying to save time. So I shuffle, I pray off camera, I pull the cards, okay? Um Yeah, let's go. So we got the past, the present, the future, and then we have career and finance, and then we have additional supportive cards, okay? So, past, present, future, bottom of the deck, the eight of pentacles. You could be in school, working on yourself, learning a new craft, putting the hard work in. And whatever it is you're doing, uh, this is love. So, this could be putting the hard work in and love. Uh, trying to work on yourself. This says for some of you, you need to enact a new exercise program. And um, there might be some body changes here also, the eight of pentacles. All right, so let's go past the messenger of water cancer pisces scorpio nine of air queen of fire so someone wanted to invest emotionally in the past and they offered their cup could have been in cancer pisces scorpio uh it looks like you've been through some things with this person with the nine of air uh you don't get to the nine of air by just meeting somebody um and this is you, Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, it could be a fire sign that took you through the ringer, who caused anxiety, mental anguish, um, maybe even caused some health issues to spring up for you with the nine of air. Um, also, there might be some health issues here in the past. Okay. Also, it could have been that someone had someone outside of the relationship and that's why they caused you to have this mental anxiety be standoffish also okay presently you are at the messenger of air so you meet them with your truth you guys are looking at each other too i don't know if you are you looking at each other if i turn it around you are yeah so um, somebody's offering a cup you're offering your truth about the situation you put me in something you put me through a lot I don't know uh, yeah two of earth could be juggling love affair currently you could be juggling your finances this is love so this could be a love affair somebody's getting more attention than the other one pinnacle is up the other is down so I'm trying to make a decision Maybe about you, Leo, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You could be uh, trying to divide assets. You could be trying to be in court. Eight of Aries. Yeah. You feel stuck in this situation. You feel like you're not going to get what you deserve out of this situation. This Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus could have been you know trying to decide are they in or are they out future queen of air could be dealing with another air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius like yourself cutting something out being standoffish a little cold um, nine of earth yeah just choosing to be single be the man or the woman in waiting um, not taking to any advances to any offer because you don't trust it and this person has put you through a lot page of earth yeah and you feel like there's stability elsewhere or you'll find stability with just worrying about yourself and taking care of yourself also you find stability in a new business opportunity I know this is love some of you find stability with this Capricorn Virgo Taurus they may be younger than you or younger than you in vibration some of you with eight of pinnacle in the bottom working really hard to you know to maintain this nine of pinnacles type of energy You've built yourself up to a certain to a certain uh, degree, a certain 
you know, a certain status in your life and you're trying to maintain that. Some of you just want to, you're going to be single. You're going to cut ties, sever ties here. You're tired of the, the messenger of water. You want a king. There's no king. There's two queens here. It can be Sagittarius you're dealing with. Okay, career and finance. The bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. Nice. So you have, or Prince of, of Pentacles, um, you have a solid offer coming in um, in career and finance. Something that you can build upon, you know? Something that's going to be, it's, it's slow moving. It's not going to be overnight, but it's something that can be long lasting. You have the Fool. Not to start over in career. You might have to take a new development chart a new path here start over the full card is a zero card seven of swords revise and devise a plan of action uh, you may be doing this in secret this is your energy gemini libra aquarius or another gemini libra aquarius could be in business with you or in regards to your business they could be devising a plan of action also it doesn't have to be negative can it can be or it can be self-serving more so but it doesn't have to be all right four of pentacles yeah you're trying to maintain a certain level a degree of, of, of status here um there's something in that treasure chest you know this is your treasure you're trying to maintain that you're trying to hold that two of swords this is sun and libra you have a decision to make in regards to your financial stability and it might be that you just have to go a new route could be walking away from a job could be walking away from a business could be uh, searching for a new job um, trying to devise a plan of action in regards to a job or career that you're in Get some additional messages of support, religion, and spirituality. This is what will get you through, will get you by. It's relying heavily on your religion and your spirituality. Welcome the new. Newness is here with the full card. Welcome it. Yes, it's scary. Yes, it's new. Yes, you don't know what's going to happen, but it's new. Uh, the fool is blessed by the heavens and the spirit guides. They understand that you're going into the new. You're going into the new without knowing what is going to happen. How is this going to pan out? Blessings surround the fool. Once you learn to be the magician, that's the next card. Uh, spirit will ease up a bit. Forgiveness. Some of you have to forgive someone or you have to ask for forgiveness. Um, this might be your stumbling block. This may be the block in moving you forward in the universe moving you to the next level. It looks like, yeah, someone over here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, even a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Realizations and epiphanies. You'll get them if you slow, if you slow down. Sit with your thoughts. Pray, meditate, rely heavily on your religion and your spirituality, whatever that may be for you. Okay, Libra, I'm going to open up the reading over at Patreon. Uh, the link will be below. If you just want to, um, I think it's going to be like a dollar twenty-five, a dollar. I don't even know, uh, but it's going to be very cheap for you to get an extended read here. It's not going to be. I know some people, you know, have ten dollars, twelve dollars, thirty dollars. No, I don't think it should be that much. Anyway. Libra, remember, when in doubt, pray. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. All of my information of how to contact me is below. Okay, guys, I started working on the website earlier today. I started working with someone else and talking to support. It's, it's coming. It's coming. I'm going to get it back up. I just had like an overwhelming response when I had it up to the point where I had to just shut it down. Okay? All right. So, thank you for that response. Um, get it back up. And everything will be right in the world. All right. Take care, guys. Uh, head on over to Patreon and get that extended read here.